guys, welcome back to Ignite Fitness. Today I have a lazy ab workout for you. If you are where I am in the world right now, which is in Canada, um, we're back in some pretty strict lockdown measures again, so now I see people and you know what, I think that just collectively as human beings, we're all kind of feeling just like the weight of that. So some days when we are met with these challenges, we can feel them physically, right? We feel them physically, we feel drained, we feel tired, we feel exhausted. You know, we don't have that motivation to move. So I'm offering you this moment of permission to show up for yourself while still, you know, acknowledging that you are exhausted, while acknowledging that you are tired, while acknowledging that you need a break. So listen to your body, guys. Give your body that grace. On those days, doing like any of the Shakti Warrior or the Flow classes or the Light Mat classes or a Lazy Ab class, you know, just so that you're not falling off your, t your commitment to yourself, but you're still honoring what your body needs on that given day. All right, guys, let's get to it. I do have some weights. I'll show you options for using them. Um, you do not need to. So for the first move, for example, we're doing dead bugs. So I'm just gonna, I got my five pound weights. It's up to you guys if you use them. This is lazy abs, so total option to not. So we're just gonna lean onto our back, take our hands and feet up, and we're just gonna hold in dead bug. Everyone, join me now. Three, two, one. So just holding. From here, I want to talk about position, right? This is our great beginner move. So I want you to flex your feet and drive your low back into the mat. This is really gonna cause that full flexion on your abdominal muscles, that complete engagement. So just hold here, guys, and breathe. Just taking some time for your body to strengthen that abdominal wall that whole core system of your body your center of balance your center of everything so just find that hold that strength here without overdoing it without pushing the body too hard just giving the body some love today and acknowledging that we're in some very bizarre times beautiful guys drop the weights option to keep them if you would like them, we're gonna stay in this dead bug position. This time we're just gonna go into alternating toe taps. So we're just tapping the knee up and down. If you want to use uh, the weights just for a little extra work on your arms, absolutely go for it. Let's go guys. Take them up and let's tap it out. So we're just alternating that toe tap down, coming back up, flexing that foot at the top. Finding that control right through your core, full stabilization, beautiful. Squeeze the abs. So like I said, this is a lazy ab workout. This isn't gonna be the workout that gets the sweat pouring. But we are gonna find some strength and stability within our core. guys beautiful again guys option to use the weights um, for this next move I'm gonna demo quickly before I start the timer so we're staying in that dead bug position so this time we're gonna come up and we're gonna drop the opposite arm opposite leg and squeeze back up and we're gonna alternate sides for the full minute are we ready guys here we go three two one pack it up and take it down now this one is a bit of a mind game. It takes a few reps just to build that muscle memory through your body so it kind of knows what's going on. So when we got the weights in the hand, if you're choosing to use the weights, we're getting a little bit of like a lat pull down. So also working those big latissimus dorsi muscles that run down the side of your back. Keeping the low back pressed into the mat always coming back to that breath guys using your breath control it's also going to help to engage the muscles more <sighs> 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 
Last two. And one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Give me a little bit of a stretch here. And we're going to come on up. So this one's probably going to be one of our more challenging moves of the day. We've got boat pose. So this is a yoga position and it's going to be a hold. So we have a couple options, guys. You can come here. This is more of like your modified version. So we're just coming from those sits bones, leaning back onto kind of like our low back, upper cheek. You can hold here behind your legs for support. You could take the legs out straight and hold, or you could come into full boat or throughout the minute, you can alternate through the three um, as we find your comfort level. So let's take it back, find that start position, and hold. And just squeeze and breathe here, guys. Whew, I'm falling out of it already. Squeeze and breathe. Being gentle on yourself, guys. Holding no judgment if you have to drop either of the modifiers. It's totally okay, guys. This is your journey. We're Today is all about honoring the body, honoring our mental state where we're at, all while still showing up for each other and still showing up for ourselves. Hold strong, guys, strong through the tummy, strong through the tummy, squeeze that core. I'm doing great, guys, we got 10 seconds to go. Come on, hold strong, hold strong. And rest, beautiful. Rolling back onto our backs. Now we've got leg drops. So we're just hanging out on the mat again. You can take your fingers into a little cone shape and place it under your bum as we're just gonna drop the legs up and down. I'll talk more as we go. Let's go guys, take it low and up. Only allowing the feet to drop as far as they can go without that low back coming up off the mat. And again, it's all about control here. Taking your time. Using that breath. Going at a pace that you feel comfortable with today, wherever those mental fluctuations will allow you to go. Just allowing yourself to be wherever you are today. Fitness is just as so much about as honoring your body, guys, as it is about losing weight or the aesthetic part, but respecting your body and giving it the time that it needs to become healthy and strong and respecting it, right? Respecting our bodies. All right, guys, our next move is windmill. So let's just scooch on my mat a little bit. We're gonna take our knees back up, almost in that dead bug position, but arms wide. And we're just going to, sorry, not windmills, windshield wipers. Windshield wipe our knees side to side. Starting the timer, let's go, guys. So alternating side to side, keeping both shoulder blades pressed into the mat. So only allowing the knees to drop as far as they can go while the shoulder blades are still pressed into the mat. We're starting to bring those oblique muscles into this workout. Breathe, guys, stay strong in that core. At your own pace. Last one. Come back center. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna flip onto our side. I did that in the weirdest way possible. We're gonna come into supported side plank now. Entirely up to you guys if you feel up for the challenge and you want to go into full side plank, do it. Like I said, this is lazy abs. So if you want to take the supported, totally go for it. I'll just show you both to start. 
So supported, we're gonna take the bottom leg bent, top leg out straight, and we're gonna press up into this nice supported side plank. If you wanna challenge yourself, then go full plank. You can go like step feet stack or feet slightly apart. Actually, we're gonna take the top leg in the front for that. So let's start the timer. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Pick it up and squeeze. So for now, I'm gonna take full side plank. And if I have to drop to the modifier, I will drop to the modifier because that's where I'm at today. I'm being gentle and understanding of my body. I'm giving my body grace, respect, and love. Meeting my body where it's at. Squeezing up through those obliques. Holding nice and tight in here. We've got those hip bones parallel to the wall. Ten seconds, guys. I'm gonna drop to side, supported side plank. Loving, gracious. Beautiful. Drop it down. Well done, guys. You're doing amazing. You're doing beautifully. You're building strength. You're building respect and love for your body, and I love that. Let's drop into the other side. Three, two, one. Take it up. Once again here, I'm starting in full side plank, making sure that my shoulder is stacked over my elbow, holding that arm up. Everything is nice and parallel. And I'm breathing. great too guys you know if in the evening you're watching TV and you think hey maybe I'll just do some abs on the floor lazy abs do it up throw on the TV throw on your favorite show or your favorite movie just do some of these ab moves any evening guys anytime you want great moves to do here I go dropping to supported side plank once again and rest it down beautiful guys that's the end of round one grab a quick sip of water if you need it we're gonna go into round two and repeat it all again. All righty. When you're ready, roll back. Join me, oh, I'm gonna grab my weights, sorry. I am gonna use my weights for my dead bug. Part of my lazy ab journey. Here we go, guys. Straight dead bug hold, three, two, one. Take them up. Knees at 90 degrees, feet flex, just to give me that little bit more core engagement. And we're just hanging out. Squeezing those abs, breathing into this feeling. Beautiful beginner move. Actually guys, like this whole ab workout is fabulous for beginners. Working on their strengths. Anyone who's postpartum, was trying to heal from diastasis. This is a beautiful workout. And rest it down, guys. All right, going into our toe taps. We're going to keep moving through this guy, so get ready. Pick up your weights if you choose, and let's get to it. Alternating those toes down. And why I call this lazy abs too, guys, is that I want to take that negative connotation, that negative meaning behind the word lazy, because it's looked at so negatively. We're allowed to be lazy sometimes. We don't always have to be super productive. And sometimes doing a lazy workout is okay. Sometimes doing lazy work is okay. It doesn't mean that you're not as productive. You're just taking your time and being more gentle on yourself. It's okay to have days, guys. It's not okay to be lazy every day, but it's okay to have times where you just really have 
have to listen and respect your body, right? We have so much stress, burnout in our society from overworking and this notion that in order to be successful, we need to be productive all the time. And that's just, that's just a backwards mentality towards life. It's not healthy and it's not sustainable. Drop the weights, guys. Take your little rest. If you need to go into a good morning stretch, you take your hands over your head, point your toes just to release the abdominal muscles. Come back up. We've got the alternating arm and leg drops from dead bug. Here we go, guys. Take it up and we're alternating. One leg and one arm. Squeeze it up. I think as a society, we need to stop glorifying burnout. We need to stop glorifying stress as a way of life. It's not. The hustle and bustle, yes, that is where we're at in the world, but we also have to make time for self-care. And I don't mean taking a bubble bath, guys. I've told you this hundreds of times. I don't mean lighting a candle and taking a bubble bath. I mean real deep, meaningful self-care that brings you back to yourself out of that hustle and bustle, out of that stress. We live almost in a constant state of stress. And what I want to help teach you guys is how to bring yourself out of that and how to control those stress hormones and keep those cortisol levels down so that you lead a happier, more fulfilled, holistic lifestyle. Last one, beautiful. All right, I just talked us right through that one. I didn't even notice that workout happening. Hopefully you didn't either. Hopefully you just flew right through that listening to my jibber jabbering. All right guys, boat pose. You know what the modifications are now. You know how to go full boat. Let's jump straight into it. Find that position, sink back on those sits bones, rock it back, squeeze the core. Reach the arms out. If you're feeling really advanced and you want to take the hands up by the ears, you can. I'm gonna go into a quick modifier here. I'm gonna hold for a few seconds and then I'm gonna go back into it. Really squeeze the abdominal muscles, guys, because when we don't, our hip flexors, these muscles right in front of here, they end up taking the brunt of the work. And we really wanna work the core, so squeeze that tummy for stabilization. Got less than 20 seconds here, guys. Keep going, keep going. Breathe through it. Breathe through it, you've got this, breathe. Almost there. And rest it down. Beautiful, let's roll onto our backs for our leg drops. Find that little space to put behind your bum. Let's straight, drop straight into it. Three, two, one. Let's go guys. Drop it low. Finding that breath control. I'm not using my usual timer today either because in these quieter workouts, I don't even want the invasion of the beeping sounds or the man's voice saying three more seconds. I really want you to stay present in your body and not aware of these external stimulants that might distract you from what's going on in the moment. Squeeze through the abs, press the low back to the mat. We're almost through this one. Working those deep transverse abdominus muscles. One more. And squeeze it up. Beautiful. Three more moves, guys. We've got windshield wipers and then two side planks. And we're done, lazy ab day. You're doing beautifully. Get ready, guys. Take those knees up, arms out to the side, and let's take our windshield wiper. Keeping the legs parallel, squeezing up through those oblique muscles. They may begin to feel tired now. They've already worked quite a bit.
Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. And rest it down. Good job, guys. All right. Coming on up. Are we ready to do these side planks? Option for supported or option to go full side plank. Entirely up to you guys. Challenge yourself to wherever you feel good. Keeping in mind these are our last two moves of the workout. So if you feel like you have the energy or the little bit of gusto to push yourself a little harder, go for the full plank. Here we go. Lifting it on up. Full side plank or modified supported side plank, whichever your sweetheart desires. Squeeze up. Breathing. Staying in control. When we use our breath, guys, to stay in control in these more difficult moments of our exercise and our workouts, it teaches us how to translate those that control into our daily lives. So when we encounter daily stressors, upsetting news, you know, we read social media, it causes those, those stress hormones to come up. We need to find that breath control again. We know how to cope with those things. We know how to deal with those situations as they arise. The more we come back to the breath in our workout practice, and then again in our yoga practice, I'm really excited to start bringing some new yoga workouts and practices into this Ignite Fitness channel. Let's jump into side plank first. Three, two, one. Alternating side, or not alternating, alternate side, side plank. Find that proper positioning. I'm really excited, guys, to bring you some yoga classes, deep flow practices, meditation, but also yoga strength. Finding strength through our flows, finding that exercise in different ways, in a more loving, nurturing practice. So we're still gonna get that calorie burn, we're still gonna get that strength, but it's gonna come from a different place. It's gonna come from a place of self-love and compassion and gratitude rather than punishment. Not that this channel has ever been focused on punishment, but, you know, sometimes our minds naturally go there when we're feeling bad about ourselves or we're not happy with where our bodies are. But I want to train myself and with you, work with you guys to come from a place of self-love always. All right, drop your hips down. Come center, guys. Let's come through a few twists with me just to release those abdominals. You did absolutely beautifully today. I hope you enjoyed this workout slowed down, had some moment to breathe, connect with yourself, take the arms up, breathe it down, scoop on up, and hands to heart center. Beautiful guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this workout, don't forget to drop a comment below, like, or subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Namaste.